God knows no limit to his power. He is still God Almighty. You limit him in your asking, in your lack of faith, in your attitude toward him. And the very same thing is true of life. Your attitude tells the world what you expect from life and you receive from life exactly what you expect. No more, no less. The need is nothing. God wants you to want. Huh. I, about 10 people heard me. I said, God wants you to want. Hear me now, hear me now. Now, in that context, it's all right to want a Mercedes. See what I mean? Your amen's died already. See, see, because you're so happy to just get a car. Hear me now. It's all right. It, see, why is it all right for the sinner to have it? And the sinner is not saying it came from God. So if the sinner is fine, and it's interesting how you don't judge the sinner for his wealth, but you judge somebody in the church who God has blessed with wealth. <coughs> you don't even know how they got it. You don't know what they went through. You don't even know what they were believing for. So right about there, we separated a group of people already. You say, what do you mean? We've just divided the people who are needy versus the people who want. Now the people who want, let me tell you what their mindset is. To want, you cannot put a limit on God. Now let me ask you this question, you know. Is there anybody here that has a limit on God? Is there, I'm gonna ask you again. Is there anybody here that has a limit on God. Do you think that God is so dependent on you that he would limit himself to you? So I'm gonna ask you that question again. I'm gonna ask you that question again. How many of you here limit God? Can I upset you with it? Can I upset you with something simple? You all do. if we're to be very honest. So how do you take the limit off of God when he knows no limit? In fact, do you realize that the Bible says that God had to rebuke the children of Israel and you see this word in the book of Psalms where it says, can God not furnish a table in the wilderness? They saw, they saw God do all kinds of things, but the Bible says it grieved him. So when you limit God, you because it means he cannot be all that he wants to be to you because you're telling him what he can do and why he can do it because you're looking at him as a man hear me if God has to knock down a Jericho wall for you to get what you want he'll do it if he has to open up a Red Sea for you to get what you need? If God has to go behind the scenes and change the credit score that they've already put to qualify you to get a house, oh, God is able. There's an invisible hand that can go into a computer that can put the numbers you need. There is no limit to God. The Lord is my shepherd. I don't know about yours, but I said the Lord is my shepherd. 
and I shall not want. So my question this morning is, what do you want? 